Yoinim. Tfila, Tzedaka, particularly Erev Shabbos. Together, this brings the redemption. Klalis, Pratis, the general, the communal, individual. We all need this redemption. Yesterday, I mentioned about the uh, sweetness of the almond that transforms from bitterness to sweetness. So, through the exile, transforms, will transform itself imminently into sweetness, redemption. Reminds me an interesting little story. We know the Rebbe never took a day vacation. From the moment he arrived in 1941 to New York until his last day on physically here on this earth, there was no such a day, thing of a day of rest. There was no such a moment that the Rebbe took off even an hour to go to a park. There was no such a thing, the Rebbe going for vacation. In fact, the Rebbe came at once to the house and he saw that the Rebbe is not waiting for him as usually. He went to the back of the house and he saw the Rebbe is sitting on the lounge, lounge chairs. And the Rebbe tells the Rebbe, why don't you come out and relax a little bit? And the Rebbe said, okay. He went inside, took off his jacket and his hat, sat down on the chair for a minute, after, or if less than that, and after a moment, he got up, shook his talus cotton and said in Yiddish, Yoitze We have already fulfilled the concept of vacation. But, one year, in the mid-50s, unbeknown to the people who ran the camp Gan Yisrael, shortly before, the Rebbe announced them that he's coming to visit the camp. Not as vacation, but he's coming to visit the camp. Camp Gan Yisrael in the Catskills in New York. Now, when the staff heard the Rebbe is coming, they got busy making sure that the camp should look ship shape, should look properly. You can imagine what a camp can look like. And the entire staff and all the kids are busy cleaning and scraping and preparing, arranging, making sure that everything is in its proper place. And then one of the counselors, staff members, noticed one of the doors where the Rebbe might walk by has a big hole. Now, there's no time to fix it. And it really doesn't look good. It looks broken. And it's not appropriate for the Rebbe to come into a place with a broken door. So he had an ingenious idea. There's a halacha that says that in your home, you should have a space of an amma and amma, two square feet approximately, which is not finished. Shows the raw wall, unpainted, or the stone, the bricks, whatever you have, so as to remind us of the destruction of the temple. That our home is not complete, our home is not finished. When will our home be finished? In Yerushalayim, as long as we're in exile. The home is not, although it could be the most beautiful palace but it's unfinished. That image of Zecher Lechurban, as it's called, to commemorate, to remember the destruction of the temple. In a physical, in a visible way, not just intellectually, not just in memory, but you walk into your house, you have the mezuzah, at the same time, mezuzah which is protecting us, at the same time, we should remember where we really belong. So this young man had an ingenious idea, and no time to fix it, so he took a marker and wrote above it, Zecher Lechuben, that this is to commemorate the destruction of the temple. Now, as obviously has to happen, the rabbi walks by just that door and he notices this comment, Zecher Lechuben. And the rabbi turned around to say the following, Zecher Lechuben, to, rem to commemorate, we need something to remind us of the destruction of the temple. That's so obvious. We don't need anything to remind us that we're in exile. It is so obvious, it's so flagrantly real. What we need, the Zecher, what we need to commemorate, what we need to remind us is the Mikdash, the construction of the Beisa Mikdash. It's all about perspective. The Rebbe teaches us an amazing lesson. You focus on the Beisa Mikdash, you focus on exile, don't focus on the bitterness. Focus on the sweetness, focus on the goodness that's coming out of it, on the Mikdash. So Ebishter, we know you focused on it, but let us see it already.
Let's see the Besamikdash already down here. Good Shabbos.